going to see the functionality of creating a purchasing policy with category access rule to control which kind of vendors can be selected for the category when purchase requisitions are created. I know the whatever I said right now might sound very confusing, but we will see in detail about each and every step of this particular process. And in the end of the video, we will also see how to assign the preferred and approved vendors to the procurement categories. Okay. So first, as part of this section, we need to create a purchasing policy first. We go to, we need to navigate to procurement and sourcing and then uh, set up and then click on policies, purchasing policies. Now we'll create a new purchasing policy with the name. Maybe I'll give the name as purchase requisition iPhone 001. So purchase requisition iPhone 001 is the purchase policy name. You can add the description if you want. And now you need to select the company name for which this is applicable. This particular purchasing policy is applicable. Now I'm selecting the Condoso Entertainment US, which is default to the legal entity, which I am in right now. And after giving the policy, we, we after giving the company name, we need to give the category policy rule. So I select the category policy rule and then I click on create policy rule and I click on add. So after clicking on add, you will be able to see all the list of procurement categories which are already created and assigned in the system. So if you are new to this video, I have also created a document regarding how to create a procurement category, create a category hierarchy and assign it to a procurement category. So please check that out and then come back to this particular video. Now I select the procurement category node break disk. So whenever any material is being ordered under the break disk, I want my purchasing executive to view all the vendors. So the selection method by default has four options. Either they can view all the vendors or they do not view any of the vendors because that will be decided by the procurement managers or allow only the preferred vendors or they can view both preferred or approved vendors for this category only you see this category only so we will see all these four scenarios so the first scenario is we are saying that you should allow all the vendors whenever break this category is selected now we click on close start is in past this is not allowed would you like to use current date yes we will like to use the current date okay so you see the current date today's date is used for a uh, effective of this particular category policy rule now I click on save now we need to navigate to procurement and sourcing purchase requisition and click on all purchase requisition and I click on new I create a purchase requisition with the PR iPhone 001 okay and I click on okay so whenever we create a purchase requisition we need to add a line right so when we add the line and uh, instead of clicking the item number I select the drop down procurement category and I create the purchase requisition for this category break disk. Then I click on OK. Once I click on OK, you see in the vendor account drop down, I am able to select any of the vendors because we have selected allow all vendors. That is the reason we are able to view all the vendors available in the system. But if as a purchasing manager, I decide I just don't want my purchasing executive to view all the vendors, then we navigate back to purchasing policies. And then in the purchasing policy, this is the purchasing policy which we created. And now I change the rule, category policy rule. I click on effective. And then now in the vendor selection method, I change from allow all vendors to do not allow vendor selection in this category. Okay. So this option will not allow the vendor selection in purchase requisitions. Now I close this. Don't forget to save the purchasing policy, which is very important. And then once again, we go back to all purchase requisitions. The purchase requisition which we created is the latest one PR001. I click on the same. And this time when I add the line and uh, select the procurement category break disk and I click on OK, you see user will not be able to select the vendor account, right? because that is the category rule which we have specified okay but uh, what if we have approved vendors in our system whom we allow the 
purchasing executive to select only from the approved list or from the preferred vendor list in that case we need to change the rule so let's go back to the purchasing policies i select the purchase requisition 001 and uh, now in this category policy rule i going i am going to change the vendor selection method from do not allow vendor selection to allow only vendors that are preferred for this category okay there is a difference between a preferred vendor and approved vendor we will discuss on this also then once again i save this don't forget to save your purchasing policy now i navigate back to all purchase requisitions and i click on the purchase requisition which i created and this time you will be able to view only the preferred vendors which are assigned for this particular category but let's see is there any vendors available for this particular category see this time we are able to click on the vendor account drop down but there are no preferred vendors which are available right we will remove this particular item but in order to select a preferred vendor or a approved vendor you need to navigate to vendors all vendors and uh, let's say we will select a couple of vendors here sl vendor so for this once you select the vendor under general tab there is an option called categories click on the categories you add a category now we are going to add the category break disk and click on ok i am keeping this vendor as a preferred vendor for break disk category so sl vendor is a preferred vendor i save this i go back and uh, i will select one more vendor maybe vendor bci so we are going to give uh, two vendors as preferred vendors and one vendor as approved vendor in this case so this is also a preferred vendor i save this i go back and then uh, one more vendor vendor a vendor a will be considered as a approved vendor for this particular category whenever any purchase requisitions are raised by default they should go to always the approved vendor which is vendor a okay we save this and go back now this time yep so now this time we go back to the purchase requisition page and uh, click on the purchase requisition which is created we add the line the rule which we have set up is to view only the preferred vendors right so when we select the category procurement category break disk and then click on ok this time we should be able to view both the vendors which are preferred in the vendor master right so we will remove this particular option this line and once again we are going to change the fourth option in the purchasing policy setup policies purchasing policy so purchase requisition 001 this time we are going to go to the fourth option in the category policy rule effective allow only vendors that are preferred we have given last time so this time we are going to give allow only vendors that are preferred or approved so this time we should get also the third vendor vendor a which was actually the approved vendor for us we click on save and then uh, we navigate back to purchase requisitions and this time we should see three vendors who actually we have added in the vendor master as approved and preferred vendor for break disk category so now when we click on vendor account you see the vendor account vendor account vendor a is also now coming in the drop down and this time purchasing executive will be able to select only among these vendors and they will not be able to select any other vendor from the drop down when they create a purchase requisition right hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned something new regarding the purchasing policy and rule to get to know about more information articles and documents related to microsoft dynamics 365 please do follow shriram sevashankar and of course i also share some interesting office related memes and uh, carrier tips and hacks so let me know your thoughts in comment section thank you